Well, hello, 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 hello. Uh, this is Brother West. This is Prophet West. And um, I have a word that I want to speak into your life and to speak to what you're dealing with. And I want to talk to the people who you feel like, you feel, you feel like, um, you feel, you feel foolish. You feel ashamed because you're in a situation where you want to forgive this person. You want to forgive these people. But, but the shame and, and the stuff that they've taken you through, the hurt that they've taken you through, you just it's just hard for you to to, to trust again because it's, it's almost like a mind game because you don't really know what to believe. You don't really know what to believe is real and what's, what's fake and what's real. And so you're afraid. You, you want to trust. You, you want to love. You want to believe in the people. You want to believe in him. You want to believe in her. But it's something that that that's just that's telling you not to, and and you know you, you wanna do what's right, but it, but it's just you're just unsure, you unsure and you're afraid, and this is many of you that listen to me. You really don't know what the, it sounds like now. Now you hear what the Bible said, you hear what the preacher said to trust God, but you're saying to yourself, how do I do that when there's so much stuff that I don't trust, so many habits that I see that they have that I don't trust. And they're not changing. You know, what do I do? And so this is this is where you are. It feels like you're in a prison. And you don't want to be in this place. You want to be free. You know, you want things to be restored in your life. But you just don't trust the person. You don't trust them. You, you don't trust them. If their mouth is moving, they're lying. <laughs> you, don't, <coughs> you don't trust them. And so you're in a situation. And so I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to take it to God. Keep taking it to God. And listen to him. And and I will say this right here, the best thing you can do is to um, those emotions, try to calm them down. Try to calm them down with the word. Uh, begin to like listen to music and uh, inspirational music to be able to get to a place where you're clear. The main thing you got to be clear in your thinking, because that's the only way you're gonna hear God. You got to be clear in your thinking, and God will reveal to you what direction to go in, because that's all you need. You need direction. You want direction. You want God to guide you and lead you in this situation. You don't want to make the wrong decision because you done made wrong decisions before. And you don't want to make a wrong decision again. And so you're in limbo. You know, you feel shameful in a way because you're in this situation. You don't even want to tell people. You don't want to tell even friends and loved ones of what you're dealing with. Or what you have to deal with because you're embarrassed. Because you never thought that it would happen to you. You saw people that it happened to. But this situation has happened to you. And you're embarrassed about it. And you don't want to talk about it. Well, tell God about it. And let him let Him come into your, your, your prayer life. Let him come into your relationship. And let him guide you. And the way that he guides you is just by some of you need to go on a fast. And just begin to not deny food. And consecrate a certain time. To be able to dedicate that time to him. To God. Where you can get clarity. You can get the direction. Just like Proverbs 3 and 5 says, trust the Lord in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Uh, you can't mess up now. There's so much at stake in this situation. See, that's why you're so antsy and that's why you're so nervous because there's so much at stake. You didn't invest it so much in this situation, but it seems like the easiest thing to walk away because you're just confused. You're confused and you know, God is not the author of confusion. And so, but you want to do what's right. And so because of that, you ain't doing nothing at all. But because you ain't doing nothing at all, it feels like stuff is just beating you. You're being tormented. You're being tormented mentally, emotionally. And so what I want to do, I want to pray for you right quick and ask God to give you direction. Ask God to give you clarity. And ask God to give you understanding in Jesus' name. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, give them direction. God, give them clarity. Give them guidance in this situation, God. Let them know the answer. Show them the answer. Reveal, lead them through their heart. Talk to their heart. Speak to their heart. That then I might make a mistake. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you.